Hello, hello, hello. Amphrodite here, your pop culture psychic. Back to you again with another celebrity reading. This time it's on Nicki Minaj. So allegedly her and her, I believe it's husband, are being sued. Now, I don't know what the truth is, what the T is, but there is someone coming forward, making a lot of alleg allegations against her and her man. So we're going to just do a reading and see what's really going on, um, what's going on in Miss uh, Nicki Minaj's life. And what's going to be the aftermath of this? So remember, these rings are all legend for entertainment purposes only. And let's get started. Ooh. Ooh. Okay. Well, the dynamics of their relationship are about to change very, 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 very quickly. The Eight of Wands is in between the two of them. This would be her and her man, and that's rapid change. I think he's going to start to act a little bit different than he used to act, and I think that her hand may be forced with a lot of the things she has to say and do. Um, the Two of Wands is friction between the two of them. There's no way she's not angry at him. Like, the two of wands being reversed tells me, like, misguided aggression. So I think that her anger may have been taken out on some of the wrong people because she's so frustrated with him. Um, and it seems like she may have erupted or exploded on the wrong people or done, like, sort of... Because two of wands, when you cause friction with the wrong person, that also, to me, makes me think that they fight like cats and dogs behind closed doors or are about this situation um, because she's pissed. Like, her energy is so angry right now. Um, the nine of wands is reversed, which means he's walking on eggshells. <laughs> I'm going to be honest with you. There's more. Whatever is public is not the meat and the potatoes of what's going on. There's more. Uh, and I think he's scared of her finding out something else that he's kept from her, allegedly. Oh, girl. Maybe there's something to do with a house or moving. Um, but what I can say is the Six of Swords is also the internet. And the Knight of Wands is upright and the King of Cups is reversed, which makes me think that he... Knight of Wands and King of Cups. So not getting my emotional fulfillment. Knight of Wands being spontaneous and going after things. Selling a pipe dream. Proving myself. Empress, mom, nurturing. Oh my God. Okay. So what I see is... It seems like he, he's really good. Like he's really good at selling a fantasy and giving her what she wanted. Empress, it's like mom, she wanted to be a mom. Uh, that's like nurturing, that's like boss bitch. So it's almost like he's really good at letting her think that she's in charge, letting her think that he's telling the truth. Um, but I don't think he always is. And I don't know if he has social media or not, but there's messy DMs or a messy leak on the internet that's coming with him and other people. Um, he, it just seems like he gets caught doing a lot of things and explains it away. Um, there's no way she hasn't caught him doing a couple of things. He just explains it away and she believes it. I don't know if it's because she wants to believe it or he's just that good of, you know, a talker. It seems like for her, she wanted a family unit so bad. And I think she doesn't want to, like, break up the family that, like, that's how she is. Um, the Ten of Pentacles is reversed. So that means that he's cost her a shit ton of money. Um, and the Hangman is upright, which means that... She's not going to want to let him go, but I'm going to be honest with you. The pressure is on to get rid of him. Her entire team, basically. <laughs> you know what it is? It's like, you know when, like, you know when, like, how do I word this? Page of Swords is something worth fighting for. The Page of Cups is something I'm emotionally invested in. The sun is happiness and relationship. So it's almost like if we keep fighting for this, it'll be worth it. Everyone has, the odds are against us, but I want to win so badly that I'm going to go ahead and do this. Like, that's what it is. It's almost like the more hate, the more crazy, the more she wants it because she wants to fight for it 
It's like she thinks that a relationship needs to be fought for in order to be perfect. It's like you you know and like it's it reminds me of like what's that uh what's that movie um with the vampires with Bella Scooby whatever the hell her name is uh the freaking um Twilight um uh, uh what Johnson uh, f- I can't think of his name um uh whatever Robert whatever Bella and Robert I think is their name or is it Johnson whatever you guys understand what I'm talking about it's like them we're like you're fighting for it so hard and the whole world is against us and um nobody wants us and oh my god da-da-da. so then like you stay in the relationship it's like toxic I guess that's considered trauma bonding isn't it I don't know allegedly I'm really trying to think of his name, and now I'm like, is it Richard? I don't think it's Richard. The Knight of Cups is upright, the Death Card is reversed, and the King of Wands. Ooh. Has there been allegations before with anyone getting physical? I don't like King of Wands reversed. I think he's an Aries. It's a fire sign. The world's upright, the Queen of Swords is upright, and the Two of Cups. This is like massive anger issues. I don't know where this is coming from, but these are, this is anger issues. There's a lot of fighting, the Queen of Swords. I don't know if they've gotten into a physical altercation before. I don't know if that's something that's happened. Um, But it seems like, especially with the Queen of Swords, there's like some, like, that's like her having to defend herself from something. The Two of Cups is the relationship, the world. So something that started in the beginning or something that's been, the world is like a cycle. So it makes me think like I have the same types of people. I date the same type of person. I'm in the same type of relationship. Sometimes it could indicate the cycle of abuse. That's why I'm not sure. And it's all alleged. I'm not pointing any fingers or anything like that. I'm just saying what the cards could mean. Um, this has no, don't sue me. I'm not saying anything about Nicki Minaj and her man. Nothing, please don't sue me. Um, but it does look like, patterns of behavior that keep happening over and over again especially with the queen of swords it means like she's always having to speak and say things yeah there's the moon there's lies deceit deception there's the good guy image or the good girl image and the four of wands is like um out of the home i wouldn't be surprised if there are moments where um people have to like they like have to separate for a week or two or stuff like that or she needs her space or he needs her space. i'm not really getting like happy i'm getting kind of like on again off again cyclical vibes break up makeup take a break um always having to pick up the pieces uh my home isn't calm it's kind of unstable that's the vibe that i'm getting oh i love Nicki minaj just makes me sad um the seven of swords reverse the ace of wands and the eight of pentacles did she talk about wanting to have another kid Because I feel like that's another motivation for her. I think she may want another kid soon. And that might be one of the reasons why she's trying to make things stay. You know, sometimes people don't want like multiple baby daddies or stuff like that. Like I think it might be a motivation because it's like she wants to have a family unit. Um, It also looks like there's an opportunity. So this looks like more of like a career thing. There's an opportunity that she was supposed to do or a collab that she was supposed to do that she was forced to say no to that's coming back around again. There's an opportunity. It's a work opportunity. So it's either a collab with another artist or it's just like, I don't know, a gig. And she was supposed to do it. She had to say no. I don't know why. I don't know if it was because of him or because of whatever. But it's coming back around again, the opportunity. Because the Page of Wands up, right? The Lover's Cards Reverse and the Nine of Cups. However, to me, it looks like there's some sort of friction involved. Because Lover's Card being reversed tells me like, 
someone won't like this. So someone will be mad if I do this. That So for instance, it could be a rap with an artist and she is like, let's say, let me give you an example, right? Let's say she's going to rap with an artist and then she's going to make her portion of the rap a diss track to that person's and like friend, like let's so per, let's say she goes on a on a rap with like um, Britney Spears, right? Like let's say it's Britney and Nick, Nikki, right? And then Britney is friends with Doja Cat, and um, let's say that uh, Nikki hates Doja Cat. It would be like Nikki goes on Britney's song and this this is Doja Cat. That's the type of vibe. And I'm not sure if it's exactly going to be like that, but I'm just trying to explain to you with an example of like what that's like, because um, there's there's someone in the middle of whatever this is um it's awkward hmm emperor's control four of cups apathy ace of cups yeah i just see him as wanting to it seems like he wants control and he's learned to make her think that she's in control, but he's in control. My, this is all alleged. Friend of the is only my opinion. No facts here. Um, judgment is reversed. She's very embarrassed. The Eight of Swords, she feels pressured and trapped. It's almost like a victim of circumstance. And the Three of, Pen Three of Pentacles is like her career. So she is definitely feeling torn between her relationship and her career. Um, I think she feels um, rebellious. I think the industry has kind of pissed her off and worn her down to the point where a lot of her actions are that she's exhibiting right now are frustrations at the industry and how they've treated her and how she's like, like, you know, when you could become jaded after 10 years or whatever in an industry, it seems like a lot, that's a lot of what's going on. There's a lot of frustration. Yeah, the Three of Cups, jealousy, gossip, hearsay, distrust, disloyalty, comparing yourselves to other people. Um, the, the Two of Pentacles, why am I making other people money? Seven of Pentacles, the verse, like, let me get out of this. It gives me, you know what it's giving me? It's like, let me make my own label. Let me make my own this. Let me make my own that. Let, me, let it be female-oriented. Let it be um, women empowerment. Let it be women taking over. It's, it's very much like a feminist, uh, sort of spin on things where she's really trying to find a way to not only have her own voice, but empower others. She's really thinking about that. Like, I, like she's not necessarily just in a creative space. She's thinking in terms of like the next generation and how do I change things? How do I make it easier? Like there's, it, it's, it's, it's pretty like bigger than what you think. Um, yeah, see, she wants to kind of destroy what's created and make her own. Um, the problem with that is the Hierophant, which means it's lacking a follow through and she's lacking the proper people to connect to. But the High Priestess says that there is somebody that she doesn't like, that if she puts her sword down and unites with them, will be the perfect partner for this endeavor. You know what it's giving me? You know how um, Rihanna kind of like took a break from music and just became basically a billionaire from business? It's giving me like that. It's like she's like looking at um, what Rihanna was able to do and she's like, I need to kind of do something similar. Um, the string card says that there's there's a stubborn beef. The fool's reverse, grow up. Grow up. The strength card is holding a grudge and that's a stubborn beef and the three of swords is reverse, which means it's an old heartbreak. She needs to let it go because the two of them together, 100% can do a lot. She's self-sabotaged with this beef, by the way. I think they both did. This looks like a, a two-way beef. The nine of swords says you're overthinking it and the wheel of fortune is a golden opportunity that they're kind of messing and missing. They're messing with and missing. So, um... Hopefully these two can come together because these are titans. There's also a man. Um, there's a business tea. So here's the real tea. The real tea behind this beef is there's a king of swords, which makes me think of an executive, someone very smart, savvy, could be a manager or something, somebody very important and high up in the industry, allegedly, who 
benefits the most from this beef the four of pentacles is reverse which means this person puts a lot into this um i wouldn't be surprised if this is the person who fakes a lot of stories or sells stories allegedly um all i know is it's a male um the ten of wands a burden um which means that this person thinks it's funny they think it's entertaining it lines their pockets they enjoy it and i actually don't think either one of them have figured it out yet That he plays both sides, does the same thing to both of them. I think they have an inclination of this person, um, but they can't do anything because of the position of power that he's in. The Six of Wands is reverse, which means like ego and pride uh, to the side. You can't check this person. They have too much power and influence. Magician is reverse. You can't speak to them or say anything. But the Temperance card says that this person's going to get a dose of their own medicine pretty soon. They're about to have a massive, massive problem. So I don't know if this person is going to have a scandal or what, but there is some tea brewing with that person. The Five of Wands is reversed, Five of Pentacles upright, and the Five of Cups. That makes me think of power abuse or taking in someone. Think of it like an older person taking in a younger person or nurturing them or whatever, new talent, whatever. Um, but there is some not so nice things might be an alimigation or two or something allegedly so that definitely looks like there is a uh, some tea with that person um yep the two of swords i don't think that person is going to be in the position they're in for much longer i think they're going to be forced to step down this might not ever see the light of day but this person will be stepping down and relieving some of their influence uh this will probably be the catalyst that'll be able to get a lot of them back together um so, okay, I want to pull from one other deck. Oh. Let me pull this up here. Okay. Let's pull from the Fairy Oracle deck. I feel drawn to this deck. I already know kind of like the toxic parts of this deck. Oh, this card flew out. This card got flewed out. Fairy tales, letting go, detachment, moving on. I mean, I don't know why she won't let go. I mean, I know why she won't let go of him, but she might be forced to. I don't know. Something tells me Nikki is going to ride things out to the end. She's a ride or die, so. Greenman's Bride, sacred union, commitment ceremony, maturing into deep relationship. Cry for nature, mourning what is lost. Gossamer Princess, communication, relationship, work to be done. She's trying to save it. Beauty's truth, sensuality. This is Taylor Swift. <laughs> Don't, excuse me, every time I look at this card, I always think of Taylor Swift. It looks like a hot version of Taylor Swift. Not that she's not hot, but you know, she's not really known for being sexy. She's known for being talented. Nope. Um, I'm just kidding, I actually really like Taylor. <laughs> The Taylor stands come for me. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, uh, it looks to me like, um, it, 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 follow me. I really think that he's been, I don't know. I just feel like he's, uh, I feel like there are other girls. Fairy wishing well. I feel like there are other girls. Beauty and the Beast, Unconditional Love, Midnight Prince. Ask what you want. Her special place. I just don't feel... Uh, I think there are other girls, and I think Nicki Minaj has already seen... Allegedly. This is allegedly what I believe. I think she's found other girls or found things that are sus, and she's gotten mad, but she's been looking the other way because she's been dealing with it in private. She wants to fight fire with fire in private she doesn't want things to be public and i think now that things are public she's her hand is forced i think that other people are going to have to get involved in order for her to have a healthy dynamic because it's like i can see people being like oh let's go to therapy or, oh let's work our marriage out or let's work this i just don't know if i see him having the same intentions as she does. Um, so I'm not sure how that's going to go. But I just... 
don't it to me it seems like he's got a type it's like the same girl over and over and over again he's a really good liar allegedly i really feel bad for nikki i mean i know i know that like there's a lot of allegations against her but being in her mindset right now and feeling the way she feels, it's just, I don't think she knows, you know, when you're in a whirlwind and you're jaded and you just don't know where the truth is anymore, that's kind of where, that's where she's at. It's like, she doesn't know what's the truth and what isn't, but she just wants to be loyal and she just wants to create a family. So it's kind of not really healthy in my opinion, but hopefully she figures it out. Um, she is an icon. She is the moment now. Come on now. Um, and, uh, yeah, that's about it. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you did, make sure you follow me, Twitter, Instagram, YouTube, TikTok, Twitch, Amphrodite Blues Live on Twitch. Um, there's a link down below to my PayPal if you'd like to tip. Um, and until next time, bye guys.